This is why I love Hinduism. No fear of this hellfire promises, like what Jews, Christian, and Muslim are saying. God will put you in hell if you disbelieve him. Just childish. I think this person is trying to say that it just doesn't make sense, my friend. Just because you disbelieve in God, surely that doesn't deserve hellfire. What kind of a God would send someone to eternal punishment just because they don't believe in him? I mean, would you punish someone for eternity and torture them just because they don't believe in you or because they deny your existence? Now, come on, Christians, that's a bit excessive, isn't it? Do you think I represented your question or complained in a fair way? Because there is a problem with this complaint. That's not what Christians are saying. Christians are not saying just because you don't believe in God, you're gonna go to hell. If that's true, if that complaint is not valid, then are you ready to give up Hinduism? I don't think so yet. What Christians are saying is that people go to hell because they've broken God's law. They violated his standards. Otherwise, it would be like saying that a criminal goes to prison because they don't believe in the judge. No criminal goes to prison because they don't believe in the judge. They go to prison because they're criminals. They've broken the law. And that's what we've done. We've broken God's law, and that's why we're being punished. Christians are saying that Jesus is the one who pays the fine for breaking this law. He bailed us out. And according to the Bible, what is required of us is to repent, that is to have a change of heart and change of mind that leads to change of action, and to put our entire confidence in the work that Jesus did on the cross and the person who bailed us out, who died on our behalf and rose again on the third day. That's not just believing, that's believing and trusting that he has done exactly what he promised to do, namely to pay the fine on our behalf. So do people go to hell because they don't believe in God? No, they go to hell because they're lawbreakers. And we've all done that. That's why we need a savior, not a judge. You said you love Hinduism because there is no fear of hellfire. Well, of course you'd love that. It makes perfect sense. There is no real justice, there is no real penalty. Although, that's not entirely true. We'll cover that on another video. But of course, Hinduism looks attractive to you. Why not? What criminal would want a justice system that would actually condemn them? The lack of a justice system that lets the criminal go free would of course look attractive to a criminal. Hinduism is like any other religion. They just don't have a savior. Someone who takes your fine and guilt on your behalf. But I hear you say, well, you're not a lawbreaker. So why would you deserve hellfire? Well, if you have lied at least once, or stolen something regardless of its value, or looked with lust, which Jesus called adultery of the heart, or hated that the Bible calls murder, disobeyed your parents, dishonored them in any way, blasphemed, coveted somebody else's belonging, didn't put God first, or even made an image of God that's different to what the Bible says, then you're a lawbreaker. Now, if that's true, then you need a savior, not religion. You need saving from that hellfire that Christians keep warning you about because it's a reality that you'll have to face one day. Jesus is that savior. Go to him, repent, and put your entire confidence and trust in him so that you can be forgiven and have eternal life with him. Do it today.